I'm not going to surrender to some other God. I'm not going to surrender to my lust, to my temptation, to all the other things that are going on. I'm going to keep strong. I'm going to stay strong in God. I don't care what happens. It's going to be God that I serve. Whether God lets me get out of this alive, whether God lets me get out of here with my full strength intact, I'm going to serve him. I don't care what's going on. I don't care what I'm facing, what I'm battling. I know that I will serve God no matter what. That's it. That's the faith. That's it. That's saying something. I don't care if God brings me out of this or not. I'm going to serve him. I'm to be honest, I don't know if I can say that. I'm not going to point anybody out. I'm not going to say, I don't know if you all, I'm going to say me. I don't know if I can say that. I don't truly know if I had a gun pointed to my head. If I could say, God, I don't care what you do. I'm going to serve you. I, I can't say that because I was not, I'm not in that situation. But these people were saying something. These young men were saying something. They had some faith in God. Right. They had some loyalty to God. Come on. I can tell you one thing. Loyalty is what's going to keep you in the threshold of God's grace. That's right. Absolutely right. If they said, you know, if I survive, then it's God. But if I don't, you know, I'm, you know, I'm sorry that, you know, I, I did this to you, Mr. King. No, they didn't say that. No. They said, I don't care what you are threatening us with. I don't right. care what happens to me. I'm not going to let my faith wither. Right. I'm not going to let my loyalty die down. All right. Praise God. He will deliver us out of thine hand. It does not matter what you're going through, the pain that you might be suffering. Yes, it's extreme. Yeah. The hurt that you're feeling, it's immense. I'm not saying it's not. But if it be so, if God allows it, you will come out. All right. And your job is to say, but if not, I will not serve the other gods. In Ephesians, sorry, not Ephesians, in Exodus 14, verse 13, it says, And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will shew to you this day, today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. Verse 14, it says, the Lord shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace. Just some background information. The Hebrews were enslaved to the Egyptians for a long while. And they were, God allowed the king's mind to let them free. Mm -hmm. And then later it says God hardened the Pharaoh's heart. And so they're cornered with a sea and an enemy. Right. And Moses saying, despite all this, God is going to fight for us. All right. You see, they were complaining. They said, Moses, have you brought us out here to just be killed and to be slain? Have, you know, we, we'd rather just be back there because we had food to eat there. <coughs> After all the grumbling, complaining, God still brought him through. Yes, he did. He still parted the water yes, so dry. Did. Right. That there, there was no water there. He parted it. All he right. didn't just... He took the water out of the soil and parted it. All right. In the midst of their battle, in the midst of their captivity, the leader had faith that God was going to bring him out. Come on, the leader had faith that God was going to bring them out. All right. Come they on. didn't have faith. Come on. The leader had faith. Come on. I'm not saying it's an excuse. I'm not giving y'all an excuse to not have faith. But this man is the one to go to. After you go to God, of course. This right. man right. is the one to go to. If you're struggling in your faith and you've been praying, you've been seeking God, and you 
Lord, I, I, I can't make it out. I don't know what's going on, but I can't get through this, this battle, this captivity that I'm in. These shackles that got me down, I, I can't do it, God. This man is always here. Right. You can call him anytime. He receives calls in the middle of the night. Don't ever feel ashamed or like you're a burden. Because that is his job. That is his appointed sector, if you will. He is to take care of you all. But my point is, it doesn't matter what you're going through. If you continue the loyalty. Yes, sir. There are things I'm sure that are in the back of your head saying, church isn't doing nothing for me. I should just go because I'm not getting anything out of this. I feel good, but, you know, I'm still battling. That's nothing but the devil. That's nothing but the enemy. And if you will stay loyal to God, if you will continue steadfast and say, if it be so, God will deliver us out. I'm here to tell you it does not matter what you're going through. When you are in the enemy's camp All right. and the enemy has you down to the ground, has you on your knees at night, when you feel like there's no point going on, you don't know how you're going to make it, if you will just, stead just stay steadfast, And let God take control. If you will put your faith in God, he will deliver you. If you continue reading in Daniel chapter 3, it says that they were put in the furnace. And that there was a fourth figure. Mm -hmm. Where's that? It said they resembled the, the son of God, I believe, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, I just want to make sure I'm not misquoting. And when they got out, there was not even a singe of their hair. All there right. was no smell of smoke right. on them. All right. You are struggling right now. You might be in the enemy's camp right now. Come on. But when you get out, you will be stronger. Yes, sir. You might have some scars. Come on. But you will come out stronger. I'm sure all the stuff that Sister Graham has gone through has left her with some scars, whether it be physically or mentally. But you come out stronger, haven't you? All right. All right. You come out with more faith, haven't you? Come on. It is going to do nothing but increase you. That's right. At the end of this, at the end of all this, the king said that nobody was allowed to talk bad. Come on, that's right. To the God. Yes, sir. After all this, he appointed the three Hebrew boys yes, sir. to higher positions yes, than they originally were. Come on, raise them up. I don't care what enemies camp you're in. Come on. I don't care what battles you are fighting. Come on. God will appoint you higher. Yes. Whether it be in a, a carnal sense or it be a spiritual sense, he will elevate you. Whether right. it be spiritually, mentally, physically, Amen. you will be not you will you have nothing but to gain from Come this. On. That's right. If you just keep on holding on. Come on. And it might seem like you were doing good and, and then you fall and then you do good and, and then things bad happen again. But in the end of it, you will gain. Alright. Yes, sir. Because I want to make something clear. Yes, we could have enemy camps, if you will. Yes, we fight battles. But we, in this world, are in the enemy's camp. This is no longer our home. Heaven is our home. And right now we're sitting ducks, if you will, in the enemy's camp. And it is nothing but the grace of God and our faith and God's mercy that is keeping us from getting picked off, if you will. So it doesn't matter what this world throws at you. I don't care what happens. I know in me and myself, it doesn't matter what comes my way. I will do my best to hold on and stay strong. All right. And say, my God's going to bring me out. I'm going to heaven. And even if I don't come out on the top here, I'll come out by God's side. In the rapture, praise the Lord. That's right. 
It doesn't matter what's going on. If you will stay strong, you will have nothing but gain. All right. Praise God. The enemy's camp is surrounding us. But it's God's grace, mercy, and loyalty to us that's going to keep us. That's right. All he asks in return, all he wants to receive from us is our loyalty back. That's right. Our faith back. That is right. Absolutely right. I'm going to give it back over to Pastor. But just remember, stay strong. Because it gets hard, I know. But God will deliver us from the enemy's camp. Praise God. Come on, somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Thank you, Lord. In the enemy's camp. In the enemy's camp. Come on, in the enemy's camp. You want to see a miracle? Stay in the enemy's camp. You want to be used to have God's glory? You want to see a miracle of God? Go to the enemy's camp. Hang out there. That's where God chose to show his mighty power. It's in the midst of the enemy's camp. They had been taken away as slaves. They were in bondage. And God had to cause them to go through something to show his power. You're not there on accident. You're not in trouble on accident. Every miracle that it was ever done was born of trouble. Born of some kind of misery. Because that's where the Lord works. When the doctors say there's no more hope. When the doctor said, you've done all you can do. The woman with the issue of blood said, I've been to every physician and I'm just getting worse. There's only one more you can go to. And soon she got to Jesus. She got her healing in front of everybody. Made a spectacle of her. She was already healed by touching him. And she was just trying to hide away. You can't hide it away. You got to tell it. You got to tell somebody what God's done for you. We got to influence Sister Desiree. We've got to. She's looking for a home church. We've got to. We've got to influence them. We've got to be able to show them. God has done so many amazing things for me, even in the midst of the enemy's game. Man, that was good, brother. Would you stand with this? Man. I wish I could get a message like that. <laughs> Great God, we love you today and we thank you for your loving kindness, your mercy, and your love that you show us day by day and hour by hour. God, the words that have been spoken today through the saints and all of the things that have touched them, that have touched us, God, use it for your glory. The message, Lord, that was preached, help us, Lord, help us to be able to find a lodging place down within our hearts, Lord, that we can hide your word there, that we might be able to stand in the midst of every obstacle, that we can say, just like the Hebrew boys, Lord, if you don't decide to take us out of this trouble, we'll be out of this trouble anyways. <laughs> Lord, we bless your name for all you do. We'll give you praise and glory and honor. Everybody said in Jesus' name, Sunday.